Hi, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. We're packing for another safari to Africa. The Creative Photo Academy crew is joining me on an epic adventure. And I want you to go with me too. And the first question everyone asks is what do you bring camera-wise on safari? So this is my camera kit, and this is what I would take on safari to Africa, or to Yellowstone, or to Alaska, or to the sidelines of a football game, or a soccer game, or a baseball game, because it's the same kit. Now, for Africa, I've got my broad-brimmed hat, a long-sleeve shirt, long pants, sturdy shoes. This is what I wear. We'll do a separate video on what to pack, what to wear. But here, the camera bag. I've got my favorite camera bag for my sports and wildlife kit. It's the Mindshift First Light 40. It's called an Air Max bag because yes, this, this bag will go on an airplane. So I can take it on the airplane with me. It'll be good to go. So let's look at the bag. So this is my carry-on bag for our trip. The outside pocket here is where my laptop is gonna go. It's not in there yet because I'm still using it. Out on the top here is the secret pocket where my passport is gonna go. You can see it's a backpack, so it's good to carry everything. On the outside pockets, I'll have a raincoat for my camera, so I like the Think Tank emergency waterproof bag. A water bottle, always, I'm always carrying a stainless steel water bottle these days, guys. I hate to use plastic water bottles, so I'm carrying my own. A stocking cap, because that's a good way to get, keep warm when it's cool. And a small, lightweight rain jacket that just plugs into the outside. You know, I may throw a couple of snacks and other things in here, but basically I'm good to go. So let's take a look at the bag. And the bag is packed. I'm ready to go. So here, on the outside of the bag, I've got extra batteries, memory cards, extra glasses, some aspirin, uh, extra lens cap, lens cleaning cloth, all that kind of stuff right here in the front. So this is all ready to go as my carry-on bag. Now, for a normal trip, I'll take two cameras. But for Africa, I'm bringing three. So we'll start with the third camera first. This is a Nikon Z7 that's been converted to infrared. So a lot of you have seen my black and white infrared photography. I love my black and white infrared and I'm gonna do stills and videos with my infrared camera in Africa. I have a pair of binoculars, the Nikon Monarch 10 by 30 binoculars, because I always wanna be able to look and see what the guides are seeing to help find the animals and position ourselves so we get the best pictures. 10 by 30 binoculars, you could do a 10 by 40 as well. I like the 10 by 30s, they're a little bit more compact. And these Nikon Monarchs are awesome for a reasonable price and a small size. Now let's get to the camera gear. So my main camera, so this is new for me, the Nikon Z9. And why do I like the Z9? 20 frames per second, autofocus with face finder technology that'll find people, that'll find animals, that'll find vehicles. It's amazing, and the pictures are superb, even up to 50,000 ISO. I'm just so excited to get this camera out on Safari and photograph with it. So Nikon Z7 is my primary camera. So it's gonna have my big lens on it most of the time. Secondary camera, Nikon Z7 II, no slouch. You know, used to be my favorite camera. So this is gonna have my second lens on it all the time. So whether that's the wide angle or a medium telephoto lens, the second body, they're both gonna be set up in the camera bag ready to go. Second camera body, for me, the Nikon Z7 II. Here, the Nikon 400 millimeter 2.8 lens, my favorite telephoto lens. It's an awesome lens for sports, for wildlife photography. This one is, is great because it has a built-in 1.4 converter, so I can get 400 2.8 or 560 millimeters f4. So if you don't understand what that means, give me a call, we'll explain it to you. But this is my bad boy telephoto lens. I know for many of you it's a little big and heavy, 
but I like the effect of shooting with a 2.8 aperture so I can blur the background on the animal, so I can isolate them, give that beautiful soft background, and get a super fast shutter speed so I can stop the action. This is a brand new technology lens, weighs about six pounds, so it really is hand holdable. I love it. That's my prime telephoto lens. That's gonna go on the Z9 99% of the time. My second lens is the 70 to 200 2.8. So what do you use a 70 to 200 2.8 lens for on safari? So for me, this is for the whole group of elephants. The 400 will get one elephant. If I want to see the family of 20 elephants, I'm going to use the 70 to 200. Or the whole pride of lions. Or the one zebra walking against the sunset. Or the giraffe and the clouds and the tree. That's with the 70 to 200 lens. And I also have a 1.4 converter, which will make the 70 to 200 into nearly a 300, and will make the 400 into nearly an 800 with the built-in 1.4 converter. And finally, I have my normal lens, 24 to 70. So this is my go-to lens for landscape scenic, for people photography in the villages and of the groups. So you can see with three lenses and a teleconverter, I have giant flexibility. I have the ability to shoot in any lighting condition. You know, the new Nikon cameras go up to 50,000 ISO, and that's amazing. And you can get great pictures there. So virtually any lighting condition, and the 2.8 lenses make it super awesome as well. So take a look. This is my kit. It's all ready to go. I'm going to carry this the whole way. It'll be on the airplane with me. It never leaves my sight. Because, you know, Africa is amazing. Yellowstone's amazing. A soccer game is fantastic. I want the pictures. And the camera never leaves my side, so I get the pictures I want. Mark Komen from Paul's Photo, the Lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. Get out, make a picture, and share it.